everyone, hooked on concrete here with another concrete project. This is what we are going to build today. We are going to show you how we cast our corner stones. We are also going to be adding coloring to our stones today. So, let's get started. The coloring I am using, is Quikrete Terracotta Cement Color Mix. If ever there was a time to wear gloves, it is now with this project. The color mix and be very hard to get off, so nitrate gloves are a must. We mix the coloring with the water first, making sure to mix it completely. It is a good idea to make a note of how much coloring you use, in case you need to match some blocks in the future. This coloring goes a long way. I am mixing, one half of a plastic shot glass, per two cups of water. I try to rinse out the cups to get all the coloring as I go. Then we add the Quikrete Vinyl Patcher Cement and mix to a pancake-like consistency. This is the mold we use, we purchased it on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description. Once mixed up completely, we pour cement in each of the cavities. Shake and vibrate to remove air bubbles. We vibrate the table with a saws awl, without the blade. I think I should mention about cleanup. You never want to wash in a sink that goes into your sewer or septic. The concrete make look runny when you pour it down as you mix it with water. However, over time it will harden in your pipes. It may take a while, but it will happen. So unless you love to see your plumber, never wash it down the drain. The easiest way to clean up is with a paper towel. Just scrape the bowl, then wipe it out with a paper towel and throw it in the garbage. You do not have to get them spotless, just remove the excess and you will be good to go for the next pour. The next morning I removed the blocks from the mold. You need to do this the next day. If you do not, it may get really hard to remove the blocks from the mold. Remember, the concrete is still green at this stage, so you can damage it. I just try to push them up from the bottom and remove them that way. Here I am using a dog brush to get the concrete off of the top of the mold and then wipe it off with a paper towel. I rub the corners of the blocks to remove the excess concrete from the edges. I then spray the blocks with water and wrap them with plastic pallet wrap. The concrete will cure slower with the wrap on it. And slow cured concrete is strongest. Well, I hope you liked today's episode. Until next time, this is Hooked on Concrete. Once again thanks for watching.